So we're gonna do a demonstration in between the Subaru Crosstrek all-wheel drive between the CX-3. So we're gonna start with the Subaru. You can see it's mounted on two rollers with the front tires, so absolutely no traction with the front wheel. And we have these little bumps in the rear that will create restriction to prevent the car from going forward. So technically speaking, with an all-wheel drive system, when the front wheels start to slip, it should send the torque to the back wheel and basically get the vehicle to move forward over the bumps in the back and forward onto the rollers. So let's see how this Subaru will react to the test. I'm gonna release the brake and just apply the throttle a little tiny bit. You can see that the wheels are rolling and I'm not going forward. I'm gonna increase the RPM, so I'm gonna give it a little bit more throttle. I'm ranging close to 1500. 17, 1800 RPM right now. I can see there's a center stack display that shows me that the torque is going to the front and to the back, but actually I'm not going forward. And I can even see the yellow light flashing, so it tells me that it's applying the brakes on the front wheel to shift the torque to the back wheel. But you can see that I'm not going forward. And I'm not gonna lie to you, I can probably increase the RPM to 22, 2400 RPM, and it will finally climb this little uh, uh, bumps in the back wheel. So let's see now, we're gonna move this vehicle out and we're gonna bring the CX-3, see how it's gonna perform. Same situation, I'm over the rollers with the CX-3 and I've got the, the rubber blocks blocking the rear wheel. Now I'm gonna release the brake. You're even gonna see when I release the brake that the front wheel, the system will, will, will really be very ag aggressive to the point where it just a little bit of movement and I'm gonna barely touch the throttle maybe raise the RPM from 750 to 800 not 1800 and the vehicle will climb the obstacle so you can see that it's tried to go oops just a little tiny bit of throttle and then we're through okay so let's do it again You can see how proactive the system is, so that's the new CX-3 all-wheel drive system.